In this video, I'm going to show you how to locally install short GPT and what it is. And then I will show you a live demo of it. So what is short GPT? Short GPT is an experimental AI framework for automated short video content creation. It enables creators to rapidly produce, manage and deliver content using artificial intelligence and automation. Now, in order to install it locally on your Linux system, you need to follow these steps. The first step is to do some installation and there are two packages we need to install. First one is this image magic and the second one is FFmpeg. And by the way, I am using Amazon Linux 2 for this demo. So you can use the same one. This can also be installed on Ubuntu and you can follow the steps for it on the short GPT's GitHub repo. I will drop the link of that repo in video description. And all of these commands, I will also share the link where I will put it. Okay, let me explain the commands here. So this is the step one. In this one, we are installing image magic and then we need to replace um, the string in the file. Once that's done in this step two, we are installing FFmpeg. On Amazon Linux 2, it is a bit uh, tricky to install, but if you follow these steps, you should be good. And if, if it shows you the version, then it should be fine. And if you want to verify if image magic is installed, um, you can use the convert command to check the version. Okay, so once these two steps are done, your main prerequisites are done. Okay, third step, you need to clone the short GPT repository, which I just showed you then cd to this directory, install all the requirements, and then run this run short GPT. Once you run this Python script from your local machine, and if you, it should open a Gradio interface at your local host in uh, at local host at port 31415. And then you can play around with it. You can also install it in Google Colab or uh, Amazon SageMaker Notebook. And if you look at my screen, I am using Amazon SageMaker Notebook here, and also you can do the same in uh, Google Colab like this. I have, a, let me scroll up to show you where I did that. Okay, so this is the one. So this is a Google Colab by Ray Ventura, uh, and it's their official link. I will also paste the link here. Once you run this, it will uh, install everything like this. Uh, same process on SageMaker Notebook or on your local machine, and then it will open this either on your local host and this is the public link which i'm following the which open in radio now there are two options here the, let me select uh, first the video one so click on this radio button automate a video with stock access it will open this link here now it says do you want your video to be landscape or vertical so i am just going to say here uh, landscape so let me specify landscape here. Okay, so it is asking me to enter my uh, API key. And now I need to uh, go into first config tab and enter my open API key, which I don't have right now, but uh, let me show you uh, its um, features and we can try out the uh, and I'll show you the demo in their own video. Okay, now um, there are two options which you can use. You just need, if you want to create a video, just select this radio button and then in this text box, just give it any prompt like um, create, create me a cartoon video with many dinosaurs. You know. So once you do it, it will generate a video for you. If you uh, just want to create shots, click on this radio button and wait a little and then for example you want to create three shots so just replace it with three what sort of uh, shot you want to do maybe i'll just say custom fact shots and i'll say uh, for my company and then you can select the language here whatever you want and then um, you know uh, what sort of voice do you want with it how many images per shot, you can select anyone you want, you want to add your own, you can add your own watermark. And then you can also use a background video and background music with it. Once you click run on it, you'll be able to see your own shots.
as per this automation. So um, this is it, guys. Uh, let me also show you because I couldn't show you the open because I don't have the open AAP key at the moment um, to actually show you how it runs, but I can show you um, their own video which they have made. Let me play it for you. So they have, so this is their own uh, channel, I believe, and I will paste the link there. Cool. Okay, uh, I will paste the link in video's description too for this channel so you can see their demos. But I believe quite a good experimental tool, um, and I think a lot of commercialization could be done on top of it. I hope that you liked it. And if you have any feedback or question, please put them in the comment section. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.